What exactly is an S-based calc script? And is it true you need a high price but deservedly so consultant to write it for you? A calc script is run against an S-based block storage database. It uses the S-based calc script language, and it's just a bunch of commands, equations, and formulas stored in a text file, and then the text file changed so that the extension, instead of saying txt, says csc. Now you can't run a calc script using the calc script language against an S-based aggregate storage database, but there's something vaguely similar that uses MDX that you can run against an S-based ASO database. So other than just showing off, what are some of the reasons why you might want to run an S-based calc script? Well, maybe you don't like the default calculation order that S-base does its dimensions. By default, it's going to do accounts in time first, even if those are sparse dimensions, but that might result in multiple passes through your database. So you could override that with a calc script. Maybe you don't want to calculate your whole database. Maybe you just want to do a subset like just forecast or just budget or just budget for next year for sales for the great state of Texas. Maybe you're trying to blank out a series of your database. Maybe you're trying to clear all the series of months from January through June because maybe you want to do a reforecast for the first six months. You can do that using a calc script. Or maybe you want to copy this year's budget into next year's forecast. You can do that using a calc script as well. Maybe there are calculations that you only want to do once, maybe seeding next year's forecast based on this year's budget. You don't always want to set the forecast greater than the budget. A calc script will let you do those one-time calculations. If there are formulas that are really complicated and aren't in your outline, you can actually put those members into a calc script and then give it a formula for those members, provided they're stored in the S-based database. Maybe your calculations involve iterating through your database a few times. Maybe you're trying to do a bonus calculation or some simultaneous equations or really complicated allocations. A calc script can actually do looping. Maybe your calculation is so complicated that you want to save a value in a variable and then use that variable value later. You can do that with a calc script. Most people these days are editing their S-based calc script inside of EAS. It has nice features such as color coding, an easy ability to insert functions that it knows, really easy to insert members from an outline, and it comes already as part of EAS. You're not having to install anything else. Some people do it directly inside of a text editor. The problem with a text editor, it doesn't know the commands inside of SSpace, so it won't know if your syntax is correct. But if you want to use a text editor, that's fine. Go ahead and modify or create a calc script, save it with a .csc extension, and then if you want, you can go into EAS, open it up, and see if it validates correctly. A lot of reasons to use a text editor. A lot of cases, the printing is better. You can quite often see more of the script because if you see in the window on your screen, very, very small amount is left to actually show the calc script. And often, the finer replacing is better in a text editor. Now, this is kind of the old school way to edit calc scripts is inside of EAS. There's a much more powerful tool called Hyperion Calculation Manager. It lets you design calc scripts graphically, but then still edit the text format of the calc script. It has lots of other functions too. I definitely encourage you to check out Hyperion Calculation Manager.